see you here this morning. Let's have everyone stand, have our ushers come forward, take up our morning offerings, amen. Amen. Good to be in church. One week from camp, amen. We'll leave amen. next Sunday night. Uh, we do have some money to give tonight. If you were in the meeting the other day when we called out the list of those going, if you're still going, that's fine. But if you are not, please let me know so we can scratch you off. We can just try to figure out how much money we got for each camper. Uh, if you are not on that list, uh, I need to know. Amen. So let us know about that. Amen. Amen. Good to be in church today. Our country needs prayer. Amen. It's very much in turmoil. Amen. Thank God for uh, the grace on President Trump yesterday. Could have easily been dead today. There's no telling what kind of chaos would be going on in America if that would have happened the way people are today, amen. God's merciful. Right. Yeah. Uh, we better wake up and get right with God, amen. Right. In a lot of ways, amen, I believe the Lord's ready to come back. Amen. amen. So let's pray for one another. Let's pray for our service today. That God will uh, give us exactly what we need, amen. Amen. Brother Ted Mack, pray for us, amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Get your red song book, turn to page 390. 390 in your red song book. There's power in the blood. Would you be free from the burden of sin? There's power in
in the blood. It ain't in my blood, it ain't in your blood, but it's in his blood. Amen. Today is somebody's birthday and we supposed to sing to them Sunday school hour and we forgot, so we're going to do it now. Stand up, Miss Allison. I think she turned 18 this morning. Y'all ready? Happy birthday to
Your broken life is all I have to offer. And yet it is a priceless gift to Him. The bitter marks of sin will never fade away. But I can call before Him. Try a new one out on y'all this morning. <clears throat> Thank God I stand redeemed. There are so many things that I'm thankful for. Yeah. A country that's free where I can worship the Lord. Family heritage means so much to me and if I'm asked to make a list first thing you'd see thank God for grace thank God for mercy when I fall on my knees thank God he hears me when the burdens come too hard to bear, thank God I know he cares, loves me and gives me peace. Thank God for these. I know it's true, I'm blessed every day. ups and downs that come along life's way. Through it all I have found, I have my dearest friend, and everything that I have, I got from him. Thank God for grace. burdens come too hard to bear. Thank God I know he cares, loves me and gives me peace. Thank God for these. When the burdens come too hard to bear, thank God I know he cares, loves me Thank God for these. Amen. Thank the Lord, amen. He's good. Why do you stand up and thank the Lord for something not to do, man? Anybody, anywhere? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Amen, brother. Appreciate you, brother. Amen. Amen. Anybody else? Real quick, want to thank the Lord for something. Amen. He's good. Amen. He's worthy of it. Amen. Thank God. Amen. All right. Take your Bibles, turn us to Ephesians chapter number five. Good to see you this morning. Appreciate your prayers last week. It's good to be home. No place like home. Amen. 
Appreciate the opportunity to spend some time with some friends and preach and try to help some people. It's good to be back home, amen. Ephesians chapter number 5, amen. Amen. Weird not to see uh, Brother B.F. and Miss Debbie. I don't know where they're at, but pray for them, amen. amen. Ephesians chapter number 5. Look in verse number 20. Ephesians 5, verse number 20. Kind of chewing on this thought on the ride home yesterday, amen. I'll try to give you something the Lord's put on our hearts. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 20. There's a lot of great reading in Ephesians, and the whole book. A lot of it, great reading practically to the believer in chapter 5 there. Um, we can read a lot of it, but look at verse 20. The Bible says, giving thanks. You see that? Anybody got Ephesians 5, 20? Giving thanks when? Always. For what? Always. Giving thanks. Always. For all things. Unto God. And the Father. In the name. Of our Lord. Jesus Christ. He's worthy of our thanks. In all things, always. Look at First Thessalonians chapter number five. First Thessalonians chapter number five, verse number eighteen. Very familiar scripture. Many of you can probably quote it. It's probably hanging hanging on your wall at the house, maybe or somewhere in your heart. First Thessalonians chapter number five. In Ephesians five, he said, "Giving thanks always." For all things. Ephesians 5, verse number 18, what's the first word there? In what? Everything. First Thessalonians 5, verse number 18. In everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Giving thanks always for all things in everything. Give thanks. Brother James, good to see you, my brother. How about pray for us this morning? God help us. Help us, God help us. Yes, yes. Help us, Lord, to magnify you. She helps you in the power. God, deal with hearts. Help your people. Help the lost where they need to be saved. Amen. Two great verses of Scripture on being thankful to the Lord in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is, 1 Thessalonians 5, 18, the will of God giving thanks always for all things. In everything, give thanks. In Romans chapter number 1, it gives a great description of the world, and I believe it's very applicable for the very hour we are living in, and it shows a lot of awful things that are recorded in Romans chapter number 1 about our world. But one of the things at the beginning that he mentions before he gets in all the wickedness is going on in the land, he says there is a spirit of unthankfulness. Romans chapter number 1 and verse number 21. Hey, this world is very unthankful. Yeah, very, very unthankful. There's no gratitude in the heart of anybody. Uh, this world is a majority, we should say, in being thankful to the Lord. Amen. Hey, there's a lot of things that they just sung that we can be thankful for. Right. Amen. Let me say number one. You know what we can be thankful for? We can be thankful for our salvation. Yeah, amen. I mean, you ain't got nothing to thank God about. Thank God you say. Hey, thank God I'm not going to hell. Amen. Ain't that a good thing to thank God for? Hey, thank God that one day the light of the gospel broke through my blinded mind. Amen. How the devil had me in darkness and blinded on my way to hell, but the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, shined down in my dark soul. Hey, lightened up my dead spirit. Hey, quickened me and made me new. Thank God I ain't what it used to be. Amen. 
A lot of people say, well, I ain't what I ought to be, but thank God I ain't what it used to be. Hey, thank God for salvation, amen. It's good to be saved. It's good to be saved. Hey, Paul said, thank God for serving God, Romans chapter 7. Hey, thank God for the calling he put on him in 1 Corinthians 1. Hey, thank God for the brethren in 2 Thessalonians chapter 1. And he thanked God that he served the Lord in 2 Timothy chapter number 2. Hey, thank God you're saved. Aren't you glad you ain't going to hell? Hey, man, thank God for salvation, mercy, grace. It came our way, amen. Hey, it's like he said over there in Psalms chapter number 40, I was in a horrible pit, but thank God he heard my cry and brought me up out of that horrible pit and set my feet on a solid rock and established my goals. Thank God I got a reason to live now. Thank God I got joy in my heart and a song in my soul. Thank God he saved my soul, amen. You glad you saved? Tell your face, amen. It's good to be saved, amen. I ain't going to hell, amen. God saved my soul. I couldn't go to hell. I cannot go to hell. I can't lose what God gave to me. Thank God for the gift of God, which is salvation, amen. It's good to be saved. Thank God for salvation. Hey, let me say this, number two. Thank God for the scriptures. Thank God for a book, a perfect book, amen. Hey, one that's inspired and kept, amen, preserved. God promised to keep it, amen. Hey, that gives us faith in a faithless world. Hey, that leads us, that comforts us, that guides us, that can fix us, that comforts us, that cleanses us. Hey, aren't you glad you got a book, amen? amen. You look out in this old world, it's going the wrong direction. But to the child of God that's got a book, hey, that gives him insight about this whole world and the world to come, we got comfort and hope through it all. Thank God for the word of God. Amen. You'll be thankful for that book, amen. Yeah, amen. That book that brought salvation, that book that's God has guided your life, that, that book that's helped you raise your family, that book that has given you a direction for the journey, amen. Thank God for the word of God, amen. amen. Now I'm saying this old King James Bible of 1611. Thank God for the scriptures. Hey, let me say this. Thank God for your family. Hey, thank God you got a husband serving the Lord with you. Thank God you got a wife that loves the Lord. Thank God you got children serving God. Amen. Hey, thank God for your youngers. Amen. Hey, ain't it good to have youngers, amen, in the ministry? Thank God the devil ain't got them all. Thank God for them, amen. Thank God for your family and your friends, amen, that serve God with you, amen. Hey, hey, we got a lot to be thankful about, amen. They say, well, I got this one in the world. God help me. I know, and it hurts, amen. I hope God gets them, but thank God for the ones you got. Hey, don't get so caught up on the ones you lost and lose the ones you got. Thank God for your family, amen. Thank God for it, amen. Hey, amen. Hey, let me say this. Thank God for the church. Yeah, amen. You know, the psalmist said in Psalms chapter number four, 100 verse 4, it's on the floor you out there in the church, amen, entering into his gates with thanksgiving. Praising the Lord, amen. Hey, thank God for a place to worship. Thank God there's still places that believe the old-fashioned way. That hey, by the old past and preach the old book, sing the old signs and worship God with the old of the truth. Hey, I was about to say the old spirit, but it's just as good as it's always been, amen. Hey, the old book's just as good as it's always been. Hey, thank God for a place to worship God, amen. Hey, it ain't perfect. Hey, ain't nobody in here perfect, but the Savior we're worshiping, the book we're preaching out of, it's perfect. Thank God we got a place, amen. Yeah, sometimes we get on one another's nerves. Sometimes we say things we ought not to say and do things we ought not to do. Hey, but God's people still the best people. Thank God I got a place to come outside this old world, all the trouble that's going on, and get into the preaching of the Word of God and sing the songs of Zion and hear the Word of God taught and preach. Thank God for a place to worship, amen. Thank God for your church. Thank God for the people he's put in the church, amen. Right. Hey, hey, thank God they sung it just a moment ago. Thank God he hears your prayers. Yeah, amen. Hey, man, aren't you glad he can hear your prayer? Yeah. Hey, no matter what you're going through, anytime, anywhere, we can call on God. He's never been overwhelmed. Right. Hey, there's a lot of things we can be thankful for. Right. Hey, you know, thanks, being thankful glorifies God. Luke chapter number 17, there was 10 lepers that got healed. And the Bible said that one came back and thanked the Lord. Just wanted to say, thank you. Every one of them was healed. Every one of them was touched. Every one of them was delivered. But they but the one that came back and said thanks. Hey, what a percentage, 10% that's thankful. Of people that's been touched by God. 
If you go in percentages of the world, it's way less than that. But if you take that as a, as, as a principle, if you will, would, amen, a 10% of people that's been delivered by the, excuse me, delivered by, from, the, from a devil's hell is thankful. 10%. You know what the Bible said about that? Jesus said that only one returned to give glory to God because thanksgiving glorifies God. But our text said, or both texts, if you would, our scriptures that we read, the Bible said giving thanks in all things. Giving thanks always for all things. In everything, give thanks. It's the will of God. But you know, the reality is, sometimes it's hard to say thankful, to say thanks for everything. You know? Giving thanks always for all things. In everything, give thanks. I mean, Let's be honest. It's hard to say, hey, Lord, thankful. I'm very thankful for being so sick as death today. That's a thing. Hey, 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 Miss Jennifer. Thank you, Lord. Cancer. Appreciate that. I mean, let's be honest. Hey, thank you. Hey, Lord, did I tell you thank you that my youngest has went out in the world and forsook you. By the way, Lord, thank you. Thank you for my boy that's out there living like hell, wrecking his mom and daddy's heart. In everything, give thanks. Hey, hey, always. Thank, hey, Lord, did I tell you thank you that uh, we didn't have money to pay the bills this week? Just thank you, Lord. I mean, come on. Hey, in everything, give thanks. Let's just be honest. Take your halos off. Hey, it ain't easy to just say, hey. Hey, Lord, out of the depths of my heart, I just want you to know, hey, thank you that my loved one died. In everything. Give thanks. Lord, did I tell you thank you for that tragedy? Did, I, did it slip my mind just to kind of stop and say, hey, hey, appreciate that? Thank you, Lord. It's not always easy. But you know what? I don't even really know if what I just said was even biblical. Really. I've searched it. I've looked into it. I know what I read, and I know it's in the book. He said in Ephesians 5 and verse 20, giving thanks always for all things. Unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's what the book said. In everything give thanks. Is that what it means? You know what we know? It means exactly what it said. But does it mean what I just said, Brother Nolan? Does it mean that you get on your knees and say, Hey, Lord, I sure am glad my youngest ain't serving you. Because that's what they're doing, right? Is that what God wants? Look at 1 Thessalonians chapter number 5 again. Verse number 18. What's the first word there? Do you see that? That's a simple word. Just two letters. You know what he said? In. Get a hold of this. In everything give thanks. He said, in it. You in it? In everything give thanks. Does that mean I'm to give thanks for it? Or just give thanks in it? That's what he said. In the midst of that sickness, give thanks. In the midst of the heartbreak of a loved one out there in the world, give thanks. In the midst of being bankrupt, 
give thanks. In the midst of this tragedy, give thanks. The Bible said, in, in everything, give thanks. That's what he said. I don't know if it's really biblical to say thank you for it, but it sure is biblical to say thank you I'm in it. Thank you, not that I'm in it, but thank you in it. Thank you in it, God. Hey, hey, you know what we can find? We can find something in it to be thankful for. That's what I believe is biblical, amen. Hey, I challenge you, take the word of God, find the word thanks in your Bible, thanksgiving, thanking, thankfulness, whatever the word or the terms of the word that are in there, and try to find out if anybody in there said thank you for the tragedy. Thank you for the sickness. Hey, but you know what they did? In the middle of it, they thank God. Hey, let me show you a couple of things I believe you can thank God for in, in it, amen. Hey, hey, let me say number one. Hey, thank God in it because he's faithful. Yeah, yeah. I like that, amen. Hey, thank God in it because he's faithful, amen. Hey, I'm not, I'm not too tickled about what I'm going through, but I'm thankful for the God that's going through it with me, amen. Hey, I'm not thankful for cancer. I'm not thankful for the car wreck. I'm not thankful for bankruptcy, but I thank God in it all God's there, amen. In everything, give thanks. Thank God we can glorify him, amen. You know what I found out in it? He's been faithful. Hey, you know what I found out in it? He's been my protection. He's been my God. Hey, thank God in it for his faithfulness. Amen. Amen. Look at Lamentations chapter number three. Thank God in it. In everything, give thanks. You know what I found now? He's kept every promise. Amen. He's provided everything I've needed. Amen. He's protected us through it all. Amen. Jeremiah, Lamentations, Lamentations chapter 3. Hey, you can thank God in it because he's faithful. Thank God in it because his faithfulness. Hey, thank you, Lord. I don't understand why, and I really hate the, I hate the dickens out of it. I mean, there ain't one thing I like about it. Let's just be honest. Amen. Who in the world likes being broke? Who in the world likes being sick? Who in the world likes a loved one out there in the world? Hey, we don't like it at all. We pretty much despise it, amen. Hey, but I like my God that's in it with me, amen. Hey, thank God he's there in everything. Give thanks. Thank God no matter what I'm facing, no matter what I'm going through, no matter where you've been, God's been there with you and been faithful to hold us up, amen. Hey, we can thank God for these, amen. Thank God he's been faithful, amen. Lamentations chapter number 3, look in verse number uh, 21. Lamentations 3 and verse 21, what's the first word there? The Bible says, this I recall to my mind, therefore have I hope. And you know what God will do in the midst of it? He'll, he'll call to your mind. He'll remind you. What will he remind you? I'll never leave thee nor forsake thee. I'll go with you all the way, even unto the ends of the world. Thank God he's been faithful. Hey, there have been many a times he should have jumped off board. Many a times he should have left me by myself. Many a times in the midst of my sorrow and I brought it on myself or some tragedy come and I got a bad attitude about it. Hey, God could have said, that's forget it. I'm getting out and leaving you. Thank God he never has. Hey, God he's never turned his back on me. Thank God he's been faithful not to put more on me than I can bear. Hey, thank God he's faithful, amen. In everything, give thanks. We can give thanks to God because he's faithful, amen. He said, I call to mind. Look in verse 21, 22. It, it, it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. Hey, man, I'm glad he cares. I'm glad his compassion never ran out. The Bible says they are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Hey, man, aren't you glad he's faithful? Hey, I'm telling you, I'm talking to people this morning. I know you've been through it. Hey, you've been through the ringer. Life's been rough on you. It's been hard on you. Hey, been many of things that you went down towards the graveyard with. Hey, went through the family with. Hey, went through your finances with. Went down to the doctor's office with. Hey, went down there with a pink trip on the job with. And it's been rough. And it's been hard to say thank you. And I'm not very sure you ought to. But I'm telling you what we ought to do is thank God in it. Amen. Thank God he's been faithful through it all. He went down there to the graveyard with you. 
the other day, Brother Tim. He's been down to the graveyard with you and your lovers. He's been at the darkness visit with you. He's been with you through it all in the high times and the low times. Thank God he's been faithful, amen. Hey, in everything give thanks. This is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Thank God for his faithfulness. Hey, man, it ain't been fun. Hey, man, crying yourself to sleep at night because your loved one's out there in the world. But thank God he's never left you by yourself. Amen. Thank God he's been there with a bottle taking all your tears. Yeah. He's been there lifting you up and helping you take another step forward when you thought you could never go another mile, when you thought you never could face the church again, when you never thought you could face a loved one again. Hey, thank God he's been faithful in it all. Amen. Amen. In everything give thanks. Amen. Thank God he's been faithful. He said in verse number 24, the Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man should, have, should both have hope and quietness. Wait for the salvation of the Lord. It is good for a man that he bear the yoke in his youth. He sitteth alone and keepeth silence because he had borne it upon him. He put up his mouth in the dust. If so be, there may be hope. He giveth his cheek to the, uh, him that smiteth him. He is filled uh, full with, with reproach, for the Lord will not cast off forever. Amen. Oh, aren't you glad God's faithful? Amen. He's been there. The Bible said in verse 32, but though he calls grief, Yet will he have compassion according to the multitude of his mercies. Hey, you know what we can thank God for? In it, we can thank him for his faithfulness. Yeah. Hey, we can thank him for it. I think about Joseph. Remember old Joseph, the story of Joseph? Kids, you remember the guy, the, the boy with the coat of many colors? And his brother sold, sold him out. And, and, and wanted, wanted, they wanted him done. They were jealous of him, envied him. Hey, you know what one day they did to that boy? They threw him in a pit. And they put him in there so they can get together and make a plan. They were going to kill him. And then one of them said, no, nah, let's don't kill him. Let's we'll sell him off and deliver him over to somebody else and let our hands be clean of him. And they brought that boy up out of that pit. And he looked at his brothers in their eyes and seen their, and seen their envy and seen their strife and looked into those Egyptians that took him out and that they sold him to and took him out as a slave. And he took him down there and put him in Potiphar's house. And he worked in Potiphar's house. And then Potiphar's wife lied on him. Hey Amen. And then they put him in prison. And he's down there in the prison cell. And he's down there in misery all these years of his life. You know what? I, I wonder if God really wanted Joseph to say, Hey, 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 Joseph, have, have you thanked me for that pit? You think God really wanted that? You think God said, Hey, Joseph, when's the last time you thanked me that your mom and daddy's over there crying their eyeballs out because your brothers bought a coat of many colors and they, they, they think you're dead? Now, they didn't, he didn't know what them brothers had did, but what he did know, there was a mom and daddy left at home that he never going to see again, he thought. You think God wanted Joseph to build that bow down and say, now, Joseph, in everything, give thanks. I want you to just say, hey, thank you, Lord. Mom and daddy's broke hearted. Thank you, their misery. Thank you for their misery. Hey, God, by the way, while I'm thanking you, making a list of these things to be thankful for, hey, thank you I'm down in this prison because that old hooch lied on me. Thank you that she told me, told her husband that I tried to steal her. Just thank you, Lord. I don't think that's what God wanted. But you know what? You never find Joseph complaining because you know what? In everything, he gives thanks. Do you know what Joseph did? I don't believe he thought, thank the Lord for the pit, but he thanked for the, thankful for the God that was in the pit with him. Right. Amen. Hey, I don't know if he really thought, thank God that them boys sold him off into slavery, but he thanked God they didn't let him kill him. Hey, thank God they spared his life. I don't think he was thankful that that woman lied on him, and I don't even really know if that was God's will to thank God for that woman lying on him. But he was thankful that God put him down there and showed him protection and showed him favor and watched over him. You know what he was doing? In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. You know what Joseph was doing? Thanking God for his faithfulness, amen. God, it's been rough, it's been hard, but you sure have been by my side. Hey, you watched on me all the way through. And in the end of that thing, when Joseph's daddy died, and them boys were scared to death, Joseph's going to kill them. In Genesis chapter 50 and verse number 20, Joseph looked at him and said, Hey, boys, hold on. You meant it unto evil, but God meant it unto good. 
Hey, God knew exactly what he was doing. Hey, I didn't understand it. Might have been some times he grumbled and complained about it. It ain't recorded in the Bible. Hey, but let's be honest. Amen. Flesh is flesh. And we all grumbled about a linear things in our lives. But you know what? We slow down and smell the good coffee of it all. In everything, God's been good. In it all, he's been faithful. Amen. Hey, through it all, he's increased our prayer life. Through it all, he's increased our faithfulness. Hey, through it all, he's got a hold of those around us. Hey, in everything, give thanks. Hey, Paul and Silas down to jail cell. I don't think they were thanking God they got beat on the back. God, I'm sure I'm glad I'm bleeding. I sure am glad they kicked me around in here. I sure am glad this place is dark as the, the night. And by the way, thank you for the rats all around here. I don't think that's what they were doing when they stood up at the midnight hour and began to praise God. You know what I believe they was thanking God for? God, thank you. You were in here with me. Thank you. Your faithfulness never fails. Thank you for the sweet, I don't understand it. It's past understanding. But thank you for that peace that Brother Ted Mack was talking about this morning that floods my soul. I'm not talking about something zoned out in the world where they just got no function and no mind where they serve their conscience. I'm talking about a reality of knowing what I'm in and knowing he's in here with me. That's peace, amen. Hey, knowing what I'm facing and still knowing God's on the throne, amen. Hey, thank God for his faithfulness, amen. In it all, he's been faithful. Through it all, he's seen us through. Hey, you can thank God for his faithfulness in it all. He's never let us down. Amen. He should be glorified. I don't thank God uh, for the pain. I don't think he thanked God for it, but he thanked God for being there with him. Amen. Hey, let me say this. Hey, in it, in everything, give thanks. Hey, thank God for his faithfulness. Number two, thank God for his forgiveness. I think about the prodigal's father. And I think about when that day that boy looked at him and said, you know what, Daddy, I'm gone. Heartbreak. Amen. Some of you went through it. And, you've look, and your child's looked at you and said, no more. No more your religion. No more your church. No more your Bible. I'm gone. Give me what's rightfully mine. Packed his clothes and went out to the door. You think God wanted that man to nail down and say, now, Lord, he's leaving, and thank God he's gone. I don't think that's what God meant when he said, in everything, give thanks. I don't believe God wants you to say, hey, God, hey, I sure am thankful that my young is out there on dope. I sure am glad they ripping mama's heart out and daddy's heart out. I sure am thankful, boy, that they just, just, just drawing up to nothing and look like death. I don't think that's God's will. Hey, but you know what we can thank God for? Thank God for his forgiveness. Amen. Hey, thank God for his forgiveness. Amen. Hey, hey, you know what that father can kneel down and pray at night? He can say, God, I don't know where my boy's at. And God, my heart's broken. And mama's still alive, her heart's broken. And everybody around right here is torn up about the situation here. But God, I want to say I'm thankful that if my boy, hey, we're getting the Holy Ghost conviction, and you get a hold of his heart, you are faithful to forgive. Amen. Hey, thank God. In it all for God's forgiveness, amen. Thank God he's faithful to forgive. Thank God he don't throw him away. Thank God he don't give up. In everything, give thanks. Thank God for his forgiveness, amen. That's something to thank him about. Aren't you glad he don't throw us away? Aren't you glad he'll take that old vessel and make it anew, amen. Hey, thank God there's hope for love was out in this world. And what I can thank God for is I got a God that'll forgive them if they'll confess, amen. God is faithful. Yeah. Amen. If you'll confess your sin, he's faithful and just to forgive your sin. God's faithful. Amen. We can thank him for his faithfulness. Amen. I don't think he was thankful that he left. I don't think he was thankful that he was destroying his life, but he could thank God that God, if he had called, you'd forgive. I want to thank you that you're a merciful God. I want to thank you that they're still alive. I want to thank you that you ain't broke the neck net and put them in hell or maybe took them home to heaven early. Hey, I want to thank you, Lord, in everything. Give thanks. Thank God. We can thank God for his, for his faithfulness in our lives. And we can thank God for his forgiveness. Amen. Thank God for that, amen. amen. Some of you heartbroken today, and it's hard to, hey, 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 get a little bit of bearings about you and keep going on. You know what helps us going? Keep going. God's faithful. Yeah. And God will forgive. Yeah, Thank God his, his forgiveness. In everything, give thanks. Hey, let me say this, number three. Hey, thank God in it because of his favor. 
his favor. I think about the children of Israel in bondage to Pharaoh. And through it all, they found God's forgiveness. And they found God's faithfulness to them. But you know what else them bunch of Israelites found? They found God's favor. Hey Amen. You, you know, them Jews got out there and here's what they did. We ain't got nothing to drink. We ain't got nothing to eat. Grumbling and complaining. We don't have anything. Just look at how miserable our life is. But you know what they slowed down to do? In it all, they could thank God that he had favor on them. Yeah, well, it's hot out there in that desert, but you know what God was doing? He's putting a pillar of cloud over you every day to guide you. I don't think God wanted them to sit down and say, Hey, God, I want to thank you. This dry and dusty out here. And I want to thank you. It's cold out here at night in this desert. Hey, man, you know how it is in the desert? It's real hot today and cold at night. It's like we, want, we cry for one and it goes too extreme, and we want the other and it goes too extreme the other way. Hey, God, what a mess. I don't think they thank God for that, but you know what they could? God, in the midst of this old, in this heat, thank you that cloud's over me today. Hey, at night time, God, when it gets cold, amen, I ain't had one time to have to get out from under my blanket, amen, and, and stoke the fire because the pillar of fire has been over me at night. Hey, what a night, amen. Hey, I remember the time we went out to Colorado elk hunting, amen, it got cold out there in that old tent. And you know what we did? We thank God for Ted Mack. He was God in the wilderness, amen. He got up every, 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 every so often and stoked the fire and put a little logs in there. Amen. Me and Jeffrey just kind of act like we slept through it all. We kind of knew he was getting up every time. Amen. I'm having to confess right now. We knew you was getting up, Brother Ted. We just kind of, hey, but we waited. Brother Ted told me, Brother Jeff told me one time, preacher, if you'll wait, Brother Je uh, Ted, to get up in a minute. <laughs> Ted was over there snoring. Nah, we, that's all a lie. That's, a, that's just preaching. There ain't no truth in none of that. Amen. But you know what he did? He got up and stoked it, amen. Hey, you know what God done for them? He stoked it every night. Yeah. Nobody had to get up and hey, sleep your night away. God's got the fire over the day. Yeah. Hey, hey, through it all, amen, they didn't have the trends of the day, but you know what they had? God said the clothes never wore out. Yeah. Hey, hey, thank, wait, well, in everything, give thanks. There's something we can thank God for, for his faithfulness, his forgiveness, his favor through it all, amen. I'm not saying thank you for all the chaos and all the hell, but thank God he's God and he showed favor on us, amen. amen. We look around our, our country today. I mean, can you really thank God for America? I mean, we do when you compare it to other nations, right? We still the best, but man, our world's in a mess. It ain't, in, it ain't the same world some of you elders grew up in. And maybe some of us younger ones, maybe we can maybe thankful because we're still here and we've been other places, but some of you, it's like a whole different world. And maybe it's hard to say thank you for America. Hey, but you know what? We can thank God for the God of America. Yeah, right. We can thank God he's took care of us right. when we didn't deserve it. Right. While we're killing babies and, and passing all these bills of all this uh, uh, fornication and sodomy and the garbage of our, our society. Hey, but God has been watching over us and ain't killed a shed, amen, and rained down fire and brimstone like he did Sodom and Gomorrah. Hey, we can thank God in it. Yeah, amen. If we can't thank him for it, we can thank him in it. Thank God for his favor. Those Jews could thank God that God was there. Thank God, hey man. Hey, they might have grumbled about Moses, but they had to thank God they had a man that had a touch of God on him. Yeah, sure. Thank God he had God's insight and God's yeah. word. Yeah, they didn't like him a lot of times. He got upset at some of his preaching, but thank God God gave him somebody to guide him. Right. Hey, 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 can you thank him for his favor? Yeah. Can you thank him for his forgiveness? Can you thank him for his faithfulness? I like this one, amen. Thank God for his finality. Had to have an F, right? You know what that means? This ain't the end. <laughs> you said, boy, it sure is bad, preacher. Yeah, but that's what? Hey, the best is yet to come for us. Yeah, amen. amen. We have troubles. Amen. Hey, I'm not thankful for the wickedness of our world and the wickedness of our day and the death of our loved ones and the sickness of God's people and the pain that they're going through, but I can thank God that this ain't the end. Yeah. Hey, hey, thank God, amen, one day it's going to be going away. Look in Revelation chapter number 21. Hey, amen, Revelation 21. You remember what Jesus told those disciples when they got kind of upset? He said, let not your heart be troubled. He said, you believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. He said, I go to prepare a place for you. Listen to me. He said, if I go, and thank God he went. He said, I will return. Thank God he's coming back to get us. Hey, thank God this ain't the end, amen. This ain't our home, man. We're just strangers. We're just pilgrims. We're passing through. We're seeking a city to come where there's no more sorrow, where there's no more sickness, where there's no more pain, where there's no more funeral homes, where there's no more heartache, no more lovers going out.
God to the world. Thank God for that day, amen. Thank God for his finality. Thank God that the best is yet to come. I'm talking to people today, you're heartbroken over some things. And I don't know if God wants you to thank him for it, but I guarantee you one thing he does want you to do, thank him in it. Thank him in it. In everything, give thanks. God, I just want you to know it hurts me, but I sure am glad who you are. In. That's what the book says. In everything, give thanks. Thank God. You know, you know what he said? Talking about a loved one. Talking about going by the graveside with him. He said, we saw in all those that have no hope. Hey, thank God we got hope. Hey, hey, vacation Bible school, right around it, with two deaths right in this church. And some of you have been through them this past year. And, and, and before that, and maybe even longer than that. And, and the memories still linger there. And it hurts. And I don't know if God wants you to build out and say, hey, Lord, thank you for taking them. But I guarantee you one thing, in it, he wants you to say thank you that you've been faithful. Thank you, Lord, for the word of God that gives me comfort. It's kind of like, like David said. He's over there mourning over his son. He's going to die, and he's praying, asking God to touch him, and God takes him. And David gets up, and he says, Listen, boys, I can't bring him back, but glory be to God, I can go to where he is. Amen. Hey, you know what? There's a final day coming. Hey, we're going to see our loved ones again. Hey, hey, you're going to see that husband. You're going to see that wife. You're going to see that mama. You're going to see that daddy. You're going to see that baby. You're going to see that brother. You're going to see that sister, that uncle, that aunt, that friend. Hey, thank God the best is yet to come. That's why he said over there, wherefore comfort one another with these words. Thank God in it because he's going to finish it off one day. Hey, hey, it'll drag you down if you ain't careful. It'll suck the joy out of you. But in it, we can thank him. He's been with you. He's, dry, he's caught all those tears at night. He's comforted you. He's given you strength. Hey, hey, thank God for his finality. Amen. Look at this in Revelation chapter number 21. He said this in verse number 1. Amen. Thank God this, the best is yet to come. He said, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Thank God this one's going away. For well, the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. Hey, hey, thank God he's been with us through it all but one day we're going to see him face to face. We're going to lay our eyes on the one that died for us that bled and shed his blood and got up the third day. Thank God what a day that will be. When our loved ones and our Savior that we see, hey, hey, the best is yet to come. Eat everything. Give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Look at what he said in verse 4. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Do you know what you you know what we can do? We can thank God for those friends. Thank God for our church family that's went with us through those sorrowful times. That's grabbed a hanky and wiped a tear out of our eye. Or put one in our hand and been there and prayed for us and comfort us. Thank God for them. Hey, but one day, God gonna wipe them away. <laughs> One day God's going to grab the old handkerchief of heaven, amen, and wipe all tears away. Look what he said, and God shall wipe all tears from their, uh, away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death. Ain't you glad of that? Neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. Hey, you're suffering through some hardships of life. Hey, hey, Miss Lynette, those legs will never hurt again. Hey, honey, that back will never hurt again. Hey, you with arthritis and pains and misery, it'll never hurt again. One day to be gone. No more goody powders, no more pain medicine. Hey, no more need of this old world. We go home to be with God. Amen. We'll see our loved ones again. We'll fellowship with them and enjoy the goodness of God. Hey, in it all, God's been good. In it all, he's been faithful. In it all, he's forgiven us. In it all, he showed us favor. And through it all, he's going to finish it. Amen. He said, for the former things are passed away. Look at the verse 5. I like this. And he said, and he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said, listen, listen unto me, write, 
For these words are true and faithful. You get that? They're true and faithful. You say, well, I don't believe that. Don't worry. It's coming. And we was in coming back from Alabama uh, yesterday and stopped at a, a, a Love's gas station and went over there and ate some food. And this guy come in there and he, I mean, he's, I mean, just defiled, cussing every word. I mean, women in there, children in there, just, just a mess. People ain't got no home training. I mean, just nasty mouth and just loud and vulgar. And I got it from the, from, we was going out the door and I got it from my seat and I wanted to say more than what I said, but I went up there and handed a guy a gospel tract. And I said, hey, son, this will help your life. You know why? Because I knew his life was a mess by his mouth. I said, this will help your life. You know what he said? He said, there ain't no heaven, there ain't no God. I said, buddy, you'll believe it one day. I said, you need it. I don't need that. I said, you need it. You can defy it and kick him in it all you want to, but you need it. Yeah. Amen. Hey, you say, I don't believe there's a God, and I don't believe he's coming back. They've been saying that a long time. You know what he said? He said, write it down, John. He said, write it down. These words are faithful and true. You know what the devil will come to you? Oh, you'll never see your loved ones again. You'll never get out of that mess. You'll never make it through this. Hey, God said, I'm going to keep my word. Amen. Hey, hey, thank God in everything we can give thanks because he's going to finish it all. The best is yet to come. Amen. God. You know, you know what the truth is? In it all, we can find God. In it all. You know what we do a lot of times? Instead of finding God in it, we zone in on the trouble. You know what to help your life? Just bow down and say, God, I hate that thing. I despise what it's doing to my family. I despise what it's doing to my life. I despise what it's doing to the people that's in it. But I thank God you're faithful. Yeah. I'm thank God, I want to thank you, God, that you can forgive them. God, I want to thank you that through it all, you show more favor than I've ever deserved. If I'd have got what I deserved, we'd be in hell. What a back broke. But you've been good. And God, by the way, it hurts down here, but I want to tell you thank you because one day you're going to fix it. And before I get there and tell you face to face, I want to stop right now and just give you a little thanks. I want to give you a little thanks and thank you, hey, for the day that you're coming back. It ain't happened yet, but I want to remind you and remind myself and anybody watching me that you're still my God. Yeah. Hey, it's hard, it's wrong, but let them see me thanking my God in it because he's in it with me. Yeah. In everything, give thanks. If you're here and you're lost, you know what you need? You need salvation. Yeah. In the midst of your chaos, in the midst of your hell and no peace and no hope in your heart, God can show up and save your soul. Yeah. He died for you. He was buried and rose again for your sin. If you'd call on him, he'd save you. Child of God, thank God for being God. Heads are bowed and eyes are closed. Amen. In everything, give thanks. In. Thank him for being who he is. No doubt it's been rough, but you know what? He's been faithful. No doubt it's hurt, but he showed favor. No doubt they're ripping our hearts out, but he can forgive. No doubt we miss them, but it ain't over yet. It ain't over yet. There's a reunion day coming. And we can't, tongue can't even describe. It, through our physical eyes, we cannot perceive how great it will be. But what a day it will be when my Jesus I shall meet. If you're here and you're lost, why not come be saved today? If your hope is only in this world, you're of all men most miserable. There's hope beyond this world. There's forgiveness in our God and salvation through his blood that will give you hope of the life to come if you're here and you're lost and you're not sure that if you died right at this moment that heaven would be your home right now the Bible says today is the day of salvation today would be a good day get up out of that, all, out of that pew and come in down this altar and be saved maybe you can't get up maybe you're right there where you're at hey do it right there don't you die without Jesus if you need
need somebody to help guide you, they'll take a Bible and show you, pray with you. Maybe you're struggling through things. Maybe you'd like to have somebody pray with you and help you. Thank God for the faithfulness of God's people. Thank God for being God. We fall back in love with God. He's a good God. He's not a taskmaster. He's been faithful. He showed favor beyond favor. He's been very forgiving. Thank God one day he's going to finish. He's coming. He's coming. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. He'll do it. Thank God for being God. Hey, y'all sing that song one more time. You can sit there with your eyes closed or whatever you want to do. Think about this, amen. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna end like this. we got service tonight. 5.30 in a prayer room, 6 o'clock our service. Uh, you come on out and enjoy some fellowship with us. After service tonight, we'll have a meeting with all our uh, adults that are going to youth camp. We'll try to have you some money tonight for your kids and get signed up. Uh, and do business with the Lord. Amen. Think about these words. It's a good song. There are so many things that I'm thankful for. A country that's free where I can worship the Lord. Family and heritage mean so much to me. But if I'm asked to make a list, the first thing you'd see, thank God for grace, thank God for mercy, when I fall on my knees, thank God he hears me, when the burdens come too hard to bear, thank Come along life's way Through it all I have found I have my dearest friend And everything that I have I got from him Thank God for grace Thank God for mercy When I fall burdens come too hard to bear. Thank God I know he cares, loves me and gives me peace. Thank God for thee.